How's your day going? Good, good, yeah, good, no, yeah, good, good, okay, okay, perfect, yep. So, please don't be mad. I know you probably clicked on this video because you want to see mods. I know, okay? But, wait, I have a PSA first. Now, if you want to just skip to the mods, I'll just put the timestamp in the description if I remember. But, just bear with me for a second. Who here watches MotoGP? Okay, Moto3, Pedro Acosta, what the f***? The kid is 16 years old. Last week, the first round of the Qatar Grand Prix. His first ever championship race gets a podium finish. Second place. Pretty impressive, right? How about this? Today. By the way, I'm recording this on a Sunday, which is why I'm saying today because the race was actually today, but not when the video is getting posted. Whatever. The second round of the Qatar Grand Prix. Now, he had to start from the pits. I believe it was actually seven people that had to start from the pits, but he was in there. Basically meaning, if you start from the pits, everybody else who starts normal, you have to wait until the last one of them passes you before you can actually go. He started the race 10 seconds behind 19th position. What does he do? He wins the whole race. Guys, Moto3 this year has by far been the most interesting between all of them. And Pedro Acosta, that kid is going to be big whenever he gets to MotoGP because he's going to get there. We all know that. He's going to make it there eventually, one way or another. He's going to be crazy. If you guys don't watch MotoGP, now is the perfect time to start tuning in and watching because this season has already started off amazing. Let's get to the mods now. We're here time to talk about the mods and excuse that wow nice okay thanks bird i think what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to go in order of what i put on the bike first so the first thing i actually did to the bike is the tst industries hyper package which is the flush mounted led turn signals fender delete license plate light and mount as well as this tail light so the turn signals as you can see i got them smoked out their led they're flush. The stock turn signals went out like that far. They looked horrible. It's hard to see during the daytime. I don't even know if it's going to pick it up on the video, but they do have a white halo around the turn signal. It looks way better at night. The brake light, it's also going to be hard to see. It's LED. It does flash. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it on camera. There we go. I look like an idiot right now. The turn signals do look amazing on it. They're integrated turn signals. Looks great. Fantastic. Obviously, the rear fender delete, I think, came out to like here. It looked horrible. Obviously, got rid of the turn signals. And then this LED light for the license plate as well as the mount. So if I remember correctly, the next thing I did was the exhaust. The Akrapovich, uh, I believe they call it the GP, full exhaust system. Sounds amazing. Looks amazing. Changes the bike. I also took off the foot peg on this side. It just wasn't useful. I was never going to have a passenger. So... Why have it? It actually weighed a good little bit. The thing weighs like two pounds, so hey, weight reduction. I also have AMS oil in it, which isn't necessarily a mod, but I feel like it is worth mentioning. Uh, next up, I can't show this because I'd have to take off the gas tank, but I do have a K&N high flow air filter in there. I have always used K&N air filters on all of my vehicles. Always use the K&N cold air intakes on my cars, except for my most recent car, which I may make some videos with that eventually, but that's gonna be a topic for another video. We're not gonna get into my car today at all. The final mod that I have done to this thing which is arguably one of the most important mods that I did to it would be the Dynojet Power Commander 5. This thing, in my opinion, is a must-have if you have a full exhaust on your bike, especially if you pair that full exhaust with an air filter. When I had the full exhaust, I did not have the air filter in it yet. I put the air filter in while I was installing that because in order to install this, at least on the R3, you have to route all the wires underneath the gas tank, which is also where the air box happens to be. So I just went ahead and bought an air filter for it so I could change that out while I did it. And if you are gonna do that, make sure you get the right tune for it. I did get the tune that had the air filter with it. It. To be completely honest, my bike ran like sh without it on there. It was a must have. The bike now runs way smoother, has a good bit more power in it. I highly recommend that you get a power commander if you're going to put a full exhaust and an air filter on your bike. It will change the bike. So in terms of installation, all of these were fairly simple. Uh, the turn signals were easy. You really just had to take these black pieces off on either side and just be able to get your hands in there. Not hard. The tail light was also extremely easy to install as well as the whole fender delete. That was also fairly simple. The only thing I did not like doing was 
the license plate light. I don't like wiring things. I don't like messing with electricity. And you do have to actually wire that in there. So keep that in mind. The exhaust was actually surprisingly way easier than I thought it was going to be. It was so much harder getting the stock exhaust off than it was putting the new one on. So easy mod, definitely worth the money. The air filter is easy to do. Not so easy to get to. You do have to take the gas tank out, but I would definitely do that if you're going to put a power commander in there because it's worth it and you're already going to be going under there. And the power commander was arguably the hardest one to install, yet probably the most fun. It was definitely the most tedious. It, it involved the most work. It involves taking off the whole gas tank, wiring a bunch of stuff, taking off the seats and everything. So it's not necessarily hard. It's just going to take a little bit of time. It was definitely a fun install. Uh, I did it with my girlfriend. We knocked it out in just a couple hours. So it really wasn't that bad. So that is everything that I have done to the bike as of right now. I will put links to all of the mods in the description. That way, if any of you have an R3 and you want to purchase one of these mods, it'll be right there for you. So I do have other mods planned for the bike. Some of them I'm not 100% sold on yet. Probably the most likely thing that is going to come next is going to be replacing these two black pieces here with carbon fiber. I cannot remember the company's name for the life of me, but they do sell carbon fiber pieces for a bunch of different bikes and they have those for, for the R3. So I figured mine as well wouldn't hurt. R6 throttle tube. That is one I've been wanting to do for a while. I just haven't really pulled the trigger on it yet. Probably will soon. Maybe, maybe not. And the only other thing I could really think of is possibly getting some new rear sets for the bike. The rear sets on this bike are extremely low. So if you plan on doing any super hard riding with this bike and leaning over, they're not going to be good. They're going to scrape. You're going to get an accident. It won't be fun. And then on top of that, the stop tires on this bike are not really the stickiest. So if you plan on ever buying an R3 and riding it hard, definitely look into replacing your tires and your rear sets because they need it. But that one I am not completely sold on. I don't know if I'm even going to own this bike for long enough to really want to put those on there and I don't really think I'm ever gonna ride it hard enough to actually need to put them on there so I may or may not do it rear sets can get pretty pricey when you start getting into the bigger companies so it is a very easy way to waste your money I would definitely think about that before you do it on your bike another thing about the exhaust I can tell you firsthand videos do the exhaust zero justice whatsoever this exhaust sounds so good in person it is not even funny the GoPro well the microphone that I have plugged into the GoPro it picks it up better than my phone does but it still doesn't quite capture the actual sound of the bike in person it is extremely deep and very 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 loud oh yeah, and by the way happy late Easter everybody I'm recording this video on Easter Sunday but I am horrible at planning and I already posted a video today so this video is definitely not gonna be going out on Easter but either way it's a thought that counts. That's probably gonna do it though for this video. I didn't really go into as much detail as I've expected myself to. I'm gonna post the links to all of the mods in the description anyway, so if y'all are interested in them, definitely go read up on those. Do your research before you buy. Please don't waste your money. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope y'all have an amazing day. Ride safe, and I'll see y'all on the next one.